Aviation disasters, on their own, are frightening and terrible tragedies. But on a few occasions, these disasters are caught on video, which only adds to the shock of such an event. In this video, we will be looking at 10 aviation disasters that were captured on video, with a brief explanation of the events leading up. These entries will be listed in chronological order, from the oldest to the most recent. 10. Air France Flight 296 On June 26, 1988, Air France Flight 296 was on a short flight from basel mahous Airport in eastern France to the Habsheim Aerodrome to perform a low flyby at a local air show. The plane was a brand new Airbus A320 and was only the ninth one built at the time. Despite being an air show flight, there were 130 passengers and six crew members on board the plane. Most were either journalists or raffle winners. As the plane was configured for its low flyby, the pilots inadvertently slowed their plane down too much, and it also descended to only 30 feet instead of the planned 100 feet. The pilots attempted to perform a go-around, but could not gain enough speed to avoid a forest in their path. The plane struck the treetops before crashing down into the forest and bursting into flames. Everyone on board survived the initial crash, but three people would die from smoke inhalation when they failed to exit the plane in time. The entire attempted flyby was captured on video by a spectator in the crowd at the air show, and you can hear the shock in people's voices as the plane crashed beyond the runway. United Airlines Flight 232 On July 19, 1989, United Airlines Flight 232 was cruising over the skies of Iowa while flying from Denver, Colorado to Chicago, Illinois before carrying on to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The McDonnell Douglas DC-10 had 285 passengers and 11 crew members on board. As the plane cruised on autopilot, the tail-mounted engine suffered an uncontained engine failure after the main fan disc fractured due to a manufacturing defect. Shrapnel from the failed engine tore through the plane's hydraulic lines, which quickly drained and left the plane completely uncontrollable. The pilots were able to use the throttles to get into position to make an emergency landing in Sioux City, Iowa. But moments before landing, the right wing and nose dipped, and the plane struck the runway before cartwheeling and breaking apart in flames. Despite the horrific crash, 184 people would survive the crash, while 112 were killed. The final approach and crash were all caught on camera by a local news crew who had heard about the emergency and rushed to the airport to capture the emergency landing. 8. Ethiopian Airlines Flight 961 On November 23, 1996, Ethiopian Airlines Flight 961 was flying the first leg of a multi-leg flight from Addis Ababa, Ethiopia to Nairobi, Kenya. The Boeing 767 had 163 passengers and 12 crew members on board. As the plane cruised on autopilot, three hijackers stormed to the cockpit and demanded to be flown to Australia to seek asylum. However, the plane did not have enough fuel to do so, and the captain would repeatedly try to explain that to them, but the hijackers did not believe him. Eventually, the plane ran out of fuel, and the captain attempted to make an emergency landing in the Comoros Islands. However, the hijackers prevented him from doing so, and he was forced to land the plane in the shallow waters just off the coast of Gran Comoro. The plane hit the water left wing low and was torn apart as it cartwheeled through the water. 
Only 50 people survived the crash, while 125 people were killed, including all three hijackers. A tourist on the nearby beach managed to capture the plane's failed ditching on their camcorder. Seven. United Airlines Flight 175. On the morning of September 11, 2001, United Airlines Flight 175 departed from Boston, Massachusetts for a cross-country flight to Los Angeles. The Boeing 767 had 56 passengers and 9 crew members on board. Shortly after takeoff, five Al-Qaeda terrorists hijacked the plane by killing the pilots and forcing passengers to the back of the cabin. The terrorists then turned the plane in the direction of New York City. While this was going on, American Airlines Flight 11 had already been hijacked and crashed into the North Tower of the World Trade Center. 17 minutes later, Flight 175 was flown into the South Tower of the World Trade Center, which obliterated the plane and killed not only everyone on the plane, but hundreds in the building. Nearly an hour later, the South Tower collapsed, which killed hundreds more people in the building and on the ground. The crash of Flight 175 was captured from almost every conceivable angle as the world's attention was focused on the towers following the impact of Flight 11. FedEx Flight 80 On March 23, 2009, FedEx Flight 80 was on final approach to land at Tokyo's Narita Airport after a flight from Guangzhou, China. As the McDonnell Douglas MD-11 neared the runway, it was buffeted by high winds and made it difficult for the pilots to keep the plane on course and at a safe speed. Just moments before landing, the pilots flared the aircraft too soon which caused the plane to hit the ground hard enough to bounce back into the air. On the third bounce, the left landing gear collapsed, and the plane flipped over and burst into flames. The two sole pilots on board the plane were killed. The accident was captured by a security camera that was facing the runway, and shows the failed landing and eventual crash. National Airlines Flight 102. On April 29th, 2013, National Airlines Flight 102 was preparing to take off from Bagram Airfield, a U.S. military base in Afghanistan, for a flight to Dubai in the UAE. The Boeing 747 cargo plane was carrying several armored vehicles out of the military base on behalf of the U.S. military. As the plane lifted off the ground, one of the armored vehicles at the rear of the plane broke free and slid to the back of the cargo hold before crashing through the rear pressure bulkhead and taking out not only both the black boxes, but the elevator jack screw. This caused the plane to pitch up sharply and it eventually stalled before banking sharply to the right and crashing into the ground. All seven people on board the plane were killed in the crash. A truck driving on the airport's perimeter road was recording a dashcam video and captured the plane's final moments as it failed to take off and the subsequent crash.
4. Aegean Airlines Flight 214 On July 6, 2013, two months after the crash of National Airlines Flight 102, Asiana Airlines Flight 214 was nearing the end of a flight from Seoul, Korea to San Francisco, California. The Boeing 777 had 291 passengers and six crew members on board. As the plane made its approach to the runway, the pilots had allowed the plane to descend below the glide slope due to the auto throttle not maintaining the correct speed. Eventually, the plane stalled just feet above the ground and the pilots attempted to perform a go-around. However, the plane could not gain enough speed to climb to safety and the tail section struck a seawall just before the runway, which tore it from the plane. The remainder of the fuselage and wings spun around violently before coming to a stop on the side of the runway. Three people were killed in the crash when they were ejected out of the plane when the tail section broke off. A security camera on the control tower facing the runway captured the entire crash sequence and the subsequent rescue response. TransAsia Airways Flight 235 On February 4, 2015, TransAsia Airways Flight 235 had just lifted off from Taipei Songshen Airport with 53 passengers and 5 crew members on board. As the ATR-72 turboprop climbed out from the airport, a fault in the auto feather system for the right engine caused the propellers to become feathered, which means they rotated parallel to the airstream. The pilots mistook this as an engine failure and reduced power on that engine. However, the pilots had also unintentionally shut down the left engine by mistake. With no engine power to keep it flying, the plane started falling from the sky and eventually banked sharply to the left before clipping a taxi and a viaduct before crashing into the Keelung River. 43 people were killed in the crash while 15 people survived, and fortunately no one on the ground was killed. The last moments of the flight were captured on several dash cam videos from cars that were driving on the viaduct that the plane had hit. Aerosucre Flight 157 On December 20th, 2016, Aerosucre Flight 157 was about to depart from Puerto Carreno, Colombia, to Bogota, Colombia. As the Boeing 727 cargo plane attempted its takeoff roll, it could not rotate off of the runway in time. This was due to the plane being overweight beyond its design limits. In addition, there was also a tailwind on the runway that the pilots were using for takeoff. As a result of this, the plane overran the runway and plowed through the airport perimeter fence. There was a group of people at the end of the runway who were recording the plane's failed takeoff run and were nearly hit by the plane as it blew past them. The 
The plane managed to get airborne, but had sustained heavy damage to its wings and flaps after it had struck several trees and a shed following overrunning the runway. This also caused the plane to lose some of its hydraulic systems. Added with the wing and flap damage, the plane could not remain in the air. It banked sharply to the right before crashing into the ground. Five of the six people on board were killed, while the sole survivor sustained serious injuries. Aeroflot Flight 1492 On May 5, 2019, Aeroflot Flight 1492 had just taken off from Moscow, Russia for a short domestic flight to Murmansk, Russia. The Sukhoi Superjet 100 had 73 passengers and 5 crew members on board. Shortly after takeoff, the plane was struck by lightning. This caused many of the electrical systems on board the plane to fail including the primary radio and autopilot. The pilots circled over the airport to lose fuel in order to land safely. However, it was still too overweight for the landing. A series of piloting errors just moments before touchdown caused the plane to hit the runway on all three sets of landing gear before bouncing back into the air. The plane hit the runway again nose first and bounced into the air once again before touching down hard on the main gear. The force of the impact caused the gear to collapse and puncture the fuel tanks, which immediately ignited. The plane skidded uncontrollably down the runway while engulfed in flames before finally coming to a stop on the side of the runway. A delayed rescue and evacuation of the passengers resulted in 41 people being killed in the crash. The crash landing was captured from several different perspectives, from security cameras to people in the terminal and even from passengers on board the plane itself. Спокойся! 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 Спокой